Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Raging Reality Reaction video. This will be f video number three of four I'm doing today because like I mentioned I've got a lot of work to get through and obviously I like to keep the weekends like usually uh, stress free as possible by getting things out of the way. That's what I, you know what, I'm gonna go off on a little tangent here. You know how you hear about people getting stressed and such and that's all fair enough because you do acknowledge that they're very busy. Everyone nowadays is a very busy person trying to do their own thing, trying to make their own way, trying to earn a living. But one thing I like to do, I don't ever say I'm stressed as hell or anything like that. I get myself organized by making plans here and there, keeping to them as best as possible. I can admit sometimes I deviate a bit to go on doing something else just to add more and more to uh, my massive pile of work. But I don't really like to, I don't fish for sympathy. I just get on with the task at hand and you get yourself organized, you get yourself planned. Plan for the worst is, us is like a phrase I like to plan. Plan for the absolute worst case scenario. So if you do that, the sting is lifted a little bit and you could always work on how you're going to get yourself back up there. It's not about how you fall that matters, it's how you get back up that ladder and back to where you belong. And with that being said, I'm going to do a, another band I've never talked about on this uh, channel before, The Scorpions. A band famous for the fact that I have no idea who they are or what, they, what they're like. With that being said, I do know that they are rock or progressive metal. I, Possibly, I, I really don't know, but we're going to find out because Like I said, I love my rock. I love a lot of metal progressive rock call it what you will and I want to know what this song is all about because this really caught my eye on uh, my on my uh, home page with that being said Link in the description down below. Oh, the song is called humanity by the way. So humanity will be in the description down below Let's begin humanity Humanity Our feet is in, it's time to say goodbye I will definitely say this to begin with, I love like the sound of this guy's voice because it's, it's such like a, you, you know that guy, the, that lady from a Nightwish that I said I really admired? It's kind of like this, she, he has like a soft tone about it and I think like the, the music, the way it starts off as well, it sort of benefits of that, that gentle like guitar strum so you can hear the Humanity Off we design it's time to say goodbye That I dig that I dig uh, a lot of uh, rock songs as well a lot of rock musicians and heavy metal musicians that can Really demonstrate the strength of the singer's voice uh, Which is always good because then they always kick things up a notch and I'm hoping humanity does the same So let's keep going The party's over as the last Dies, an angel cries, humanity. It's of a war to your insanity. You sold your soul to feed your vanity, your fantasies and lies. You're a drop in the rain, just a number.
Okay, that was a bit of a weird way to end a song there, but there you go. So anyway, that guy's... That's a very different type of rock of rock that I, I, I like, because I like how there's not really so... Well, obviously, there is like a breakdown and such where the uh, chorus kicks in, but all the way through that, you're sort of like, you're paying attention. I was paying very close attention to it because... I, like I said, I think the uh, in the it, like early on I said I love the the uh, tone of the singer's voice and how it's powerful, but it's very harmonious. Like he speaks uh, softly when he's uh, when the song opens and the music sort of calls for him to not be too shouty. But when it cuts to the uh, chorus, he sort of like he doesn't shout. He speaks. He talks really, really uh, boldly. But he's there's such like passion into his voice and the way he says it. And it's almost difficult actually for me not to re recite the lyrics without seeing them in his voice because he's got a. That's a really, really good voice. This guy's got. I mean, I could do. I could try. It's our revoir to your insanity. You soldier, soldier, feed your vanity, your fantasies, and the lies. Anyway, well, I, again, I shouldn't be singing, but I can't talk about this song without singing the lyrics. It's just, they stick out so well. And anyway, when I was saying, when the beat kicks in with uh, your drop in the rain, I like how the music really builds up into like, and that something like so like something is about to boil over, or maybe a natural disaster, as it may be, and it gives the song so much more grandeur. So it's dramatic, and I like how it sort of goes back to uh, normal when it goes to be on your way, adios amigo. There's the price to pay. See, I can talk with, about the lyrics without singing them this time. That's something, and then they kick back into the dramatic build up, and it sort of continues a bit when it. And then cuts down again at no one can save us from ourselves. But you know what? This you know how there's songs that usually sound great on uh, the big screen in in a theatre. I mean, Hellfire in the Hunchback of Notre Dame was made to be sung on a giant uh, screen. Songs like these should be played on a giant screen with an enormous uh, volume because. It sort of commands your attention in in a way. That's with the the sort of imagery that sort of thing can conjure up at the world. At possible, I'm going to assume that this is just this is about a natural disaster and the world's about to end and this is the end of humanity. Goodbye, and with that, and again, I do like songs that talk about something existential like death and. Uh, but this is the first one I think I've heard about the coming of the apocalypse, as it were, and I've got to say, I like it, I dig this, and I hope there are definitely more songs from the Scorpions like this. If for no other reason, I want to hear this guy's voice again. So that's a really, really good first impression by listening to the Scorpions. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of Humanity by the Scorpions. Let me know what you thought of this guy's voice too, Eric M. Basilin, ba Basilin, Basil Brush, boom boom. <laughs> no, never mind. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new here, because I get I do daily uploads of music, so you'll be able to see a lot of them if, if you like and subscribe, and you'll get notifications very very quickly. And let me know if there are any other vid videos you want to take a look at, and I'll see all of you guys in the next reaction video. Take care. Bye for now.